Hello, welcome to DNKS Legacy Productions and thanks for stopping by. Today's video is going to be about our newest mobile studio. We developed this mobile studio to make it more convenient for setting up for recording and breaking down when the recording is done. In this video we're going to give you a quick look of the studio and a quick video on how we built it. This is actually the same equipment we've used in our studio previously. We haven't changed any of the equipment. All of the equipment is the same. We just put it in the rifle case so that we can make it mobile and easier to shut it down and move it and set it back up. So we still have the Barringer, which actually will not be able to carry in this case because when you shut the lid, it would um, damage the monitor. Um, I didn't actually want to put this in here because I can act everything on here. I can do on the lap on the laptop without this. This just makes it easier when I'm in the studio. So this is only here while I'm in the studio. Um, then we have the Black T Magic, the Black Magic Mini Pro. Um, we don't actually use this for the streaming. We use the computer for the streaming with the vMix software, but this has the multi view. So you can see the cameras and it, it gives you a whole lot of things uh, that the just the Blackmagic A10 Mini doesn't. I need, I, not necessarily need, I'm more comfortable being able to see all of my different um, camera shots. And this allows me to do that. I just changed uh, to get my one camera ready so that you can see in a second and I'll show you that in a minute. And then I have the, uh, the laptop fold it down, unhook the wires, put it in the case, we turn off everything, flip the lid down and it's ready to go. And the same thing when we flip it back up. Um, this is the back of the case and there is a speaker back there, but that's for just while I'm in the studio monitoring, just a little monitoring speaker. And then as you can see, this is SDI. On the inside, under the A10 Mini, we have the SDI to HDMI converters. And we have HDMI to SDI converters on all of our cameras so that this allows me to have a more secure cable and it also allows me to use this system with cameras that can be set up uh, further away from the from from the uh, from the studio it um, you're limited really to like 15 feet with s with HDMI um, they You'll see on places where you they say you can go up to 50 feet, but you can't really go up to 50 feet um, reliably with HDMI cables. But with SDI cables, you can go up to 300 feet reliably and get a reliable signal. So that's why we converted to the SDI instead of the HDMI, and all of that is done on board. And... Um, not on board, but inside the case with the black magic converters. Here we go. This is not a gun case video because I don't own any guns. I don't really do guns, but this is a portable studio video using the A Tim Mini Pro. And I'm going to convert the A10 Mini Pro from HDMI to SDI outputs or inputs. 
And this is it. This is just a um, basically I'm just building it. Um, all the parts aren't even here, so I don't have everything together. But it actually works already. What's I have um, I put the SDI to HDMI converters in four of them for each channel and then I have cables coming they won't be here till until tomorrow um, all the power stuff is over here so here are the panels I made the um, I didn't show that I just cut a couple of blocks for attaching everything it actually makes the box a little bit stiffer these are the panels I had to cut them out to fit tightly in here this cable has to come out and this cable has to come out right. and then these are fitted panels I just painted them back black there these are PVC I will use PVC instead of plywood because um, it makes for a smoother finish and I just wanted something I wanted PVC instead of plywood everything else is uh, wood and plastic I could have probably got um, two by two PVC but I didn't so this will work and I stick this up through here and I made that to fit there this doesn't come out that comes out and this fits down in there too and as you can see there's vent holes they weren't necessarily vent holes i just didn't want to go it was hard enough actually i did mean for them to be vent holes because i could have cut these out to fit up through here tighter but i wanted better air circulation and flow so i left some space these spaces weren't necessarily for ventilation these spaces were so wires can come through this space and the space in the front was actually meant for ventilation so I can have good air circulation and this helps with the air circulation too I also did not take this all the way to the edge because I wanted the wires to be able to transport back and forth what's in here is what I'm going to use this fits tight but I noticed that when I uh, pick it up and put it on the side it wants to slide out so I'm going to use these clips to clip it in and hold it down so then that won't go anywhere the laptop will go right here and then like I said there will be a door here and then this is the USB-C for the for and this will be the power the extension cord will go into that and just plug it in and then oh one cord I, and as you can see that actually already works and I don't know how well you can see that because but it is the ATM is on and the monitor is on so it's already working once it gets power so it's always already working as it is but I still have things to do this little section right here I am going to put the um, the switch that I have built for this so that I can connect the um, eight the um, 
I can connect the ATEM and the and the computer together through the switch and I can run the ATEM software for that. Um, it's also <clears throat> going into here. I don't have cameras hooked up yet, so I can't really show you that, but it's going through here. You saw me when I hooked up the uh, USB-C. So it's going through by USB-C, but I also want the want it to be I want to be able to control it and use the ATEM software over the Ethernet instead of the um, instead of the USB-C cable. I want to use that just for the video feed, and um, also I will probably put a pass through so that. Well, this is going to be a door, so I could have access to it, but I actually. I'm going to put a pass through for like for a rack system so that um, we can hook up to anybody's uh, whatever site we're on. We can hook up to their Internet wired with a wired connection instead of a wireless. But I can do wireless through the uh, laptop. So um, but I like a wired connection better than a wireless connection. So this is the new portable studio. This is going to make it easier for when we do. This is not for large events. This is more for when I do um, uh, interview type events um, um, and maybe small conferences and things like that. I got a 60 watt um, this is RAV power it will put out uh, two and a half volts on each I mean uh, two and a half amps on each um, on each USB on each USB device so that you won't have to worry about it being underpowered. It can power all of the devices at the same time. It is 60 watts or yeah, it's a 60 watt power supply so that it has enough power to power all of them. It's not, it's not made like some of the cheaper ones. It's not that cheap. So don't, um, I'm not, it's not a um, it's not a bad buy but it's it the purpose of this was not to save money when I bought it the purpose of this was to uh, because I could probably get six bricks cheaper I have to look at the price I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but I may even be able to get six bricks cheaper but that wasn't I didn't want to have six bricks in here um, as you can see what just with the brick from the um, from the laptop the um, the monitor and the black magic there's already you're already starting to um, the real estate is being used up pretty quickly and then I couldn't imagine having more six more bricks and then you had to plug in I would have to, don't have enough space to plug in I would have had to put in a um, uh, power and actually I would have to actually use probably this and a power strip to uh, plug all of those in but this solves that problem I have one plug into this strip I'd have a four plug splitter one for the laptop one for the Monitor one for that. Um, that's the laptop. That one of these is the monitor, and one of these is the Black Magic. I don't know which. And then the other is to the power for the converters. So that made it. This just makes it easier and more convenient. Not necessarily cheaper, but it makes things a little bit easier and neater, and conserves a little more space okay here we go with part two 
three. I forget exactly what where we are on this, but this is actually the next day. I got more parts in today. Um, I'm still going to be a day sh longer putting this together because I realized after I went and hooked this camera up yesterday, the camera that we're on now, I don't have it on a system right now, but the camera that I have on now, the short HDMI cables that I have in here going from the ATEM to the HDMI to SDI converters are the reason I had those cables is because they are the cables that I use to come out of the camera or actually out of my monitors into the HDMI to SDI boxes to transport the signal. So I had to order some, um, some more short cables to um, solve that problem. But I'm going to take these out of here because and keep them for what they were for and use the new ones I ordered because they are right angle cables. And what came today are my SDI cables to go from the SDI, the H, from the HDMI to SDI converter. And then um, I had these hooked up. Um, then that will go in to here. This will go through the box and clamp down so that this um, will come to the outside of the box. Okay, I'm having a little problem threading that right now. Let's try this way. Okay, there we go. And then actually I brought these little caps to put on top when it's not in use to protect the connector as it comes through the box. I think I'm going to have them come out of the back of the box because there should be enough room. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to film that part, but I'm going to do that. And then um, this build will actually pretty much be ready to go, except for the fact that I'm going to change out the cables tomorrow. And then that's when I'll finish up this video and um, I'll probably take a picture after all of this is on too, but I'll finish up this video and get it out to you guys. All right. Until the next part.